Hello friends, welcome back once again to the Beard Bros. I'm John, and today I am again trying something from the new Tiny Rebel 9th birthday releases. And this time I'm trying the thing probably I was most looking forward to out of these beers, maybe. The different four pack of the old cocktail beers. So, for those you might not have seen in the other video, which will be up above my head up here, we have here the Pina Colada beer, which is a pineapple and coconut double IPA, which is 7.2%. We have a Sunset Samosa, which is a 4.2% ABV, and it is a Blood Orange Lil Brute IPA. We have a White Russian, which is a 5.2% ABV coffee cream ale. And last but not least, we have a Gin Sour, which is a 6.2% ABV Citrus Gin Sour. All of those sound very good, to be fair. So, let's waste no time. Let's crack into the box and let's try one of these. First up, we have this bad boy right here, which is the Pina Colada version. The Pina Colada, 7.2%, as I just said. Pineapple and coconut, double IPA. Let's crack it open and let's see how it smells, shall we? Very coconutty, very coconutty. Just a tinge of pineapple in there. It does, it does smell like a pina colada, I'm not gonna lie guys. Let's give this a little pour out, see how it looks. So that's quite hazy to the eye right there, as you can see, standard IPA fit. Okay, now that's, from smell alone, this smells like a pina colada. So let's see if it tastes like a pina colada, shall we? Ching ching. I'm not gonna lie to you folks, I would like a little bit more pina in my pina colada. Clip that, use that for whatever you will, brotherhood. <laughs> but yeah, it could use a little bit more pineapple. It is quite strong on the coconut. However, as far as the pina colada goes, that is not fucking far away at all. That doesn't taste like a beer. That tastes like a sort of lightly carbonated pina colada even. That's strange. But good strange let's move on to the next one and see what that has in store next up folks we have the gin sour so i'm gonna hold my hands up here i'm not a fan of sours i don't mind some of the tiny rebel sours they put out the funk variety were quite good however not a massive fan of sours not a huge fan of gin as much as that sounds stupid when you look back over the videos and what we like but Gin as a whole, not a massive fan. So let's see how this goes. The one redeeming factor is this is very going to be sesty because it's a citrusy gin sour. And if there's one thing you know about the, the beard bros by now, it is that we are very sesty boys. So let's crack it open. Let's see how it smells, shall we? Oh, oh, that is, oh, that's beautiful and citrusy in there, right? Oh my God. Very lemony, very limey. Oh my god, that smells that smells fucking great. Let's let's see if it tastes as good as it smells. It probably won't, but let's see. Once again, we're looking quite hazy there. So let's give it a try and see if this citrus gin sour tastes as good as it smells. Ching ching brotherhood. So it does not taste as good as it smells. Just gonna throw that straight out there. Just for, you know, just to be honest, it does not taste as good as it smells. However, this is pretty damn good. There is a vibrant zestiness to this drink. You can tell by the, the beaming smile on my face right there. This is pretty damn good. Yeah, again, I can barely tell I'm drinking a beer right now. This is pretty damn good. I like that. I like that a lot. It doesn't taste as strong as it smells, but I think that says more about the smell than the taste because it smells fucking beautiful. I can't overestimate how good that smells, but still very good. We're on a good roll here, Tiny Rebel. Let's see if they can keep it up. On to the next one. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have the White Russian. This is the coffee cream ale. And this will be probably one of the three I'm least looking forward to, but I'm sure they'll do a decent job of this. So let's crack it open and let's see. I'm partial to a white Russian on occasion. 
Oh, again, the smell. The smell on all these, they've, they've fucking cracked it. They have cracked it. Very strong coffee smell on that. Just a little bit of cream. Very good smell on that one. Let's give it a pour and let's see how good it'll taste. So we have once again, quite hazy. All of these beers, even though they're different kinds of beers, they've all looked very similar to be fair. They're all this kind of light, hazy beer on the go. So this is the, the, the ale. And the last one was the sour. And the one before that was the double IPA. And they all look very similar. So who knows what witchcraft they are pulling with these. But let's see if this tastes like it smells. Ching Ching Brotherhood. I tell thee what. That's not as good as the others. I think that's purely a taste thing. Personal taste thing. But I think they've done a good job again. They've done a really good job. You can taste the coffee in it. You can taste the, 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 like the sweetness and the cream coming through. Again, I'm struggling to kind of say anything negative against these. I really am. It also doesn't feel like I'm drinking a beer. Like these, there's three beers there. None of these feel like I'm drinking beer. They've done not as much to my personal taste as the other two, but still a cracking job. So let's see if it's gonna be a clean sweep for the old cocktail beers from Tiny Rebel. Last but not least, everyone out there, we have the Sunset Mimosa, which is the 4.2% Blood Orange Lil Brute IPA. So again, this one sounds like it could be good. Let's crack it open and let's see how it smells. Mm, yeah, it does. The smell isn't as vibrant as the others. In comparison to say the, the, uh, the Gin Sour one, the smell isn't quite as vibrant that citrusy kind of zestiness to it but by the same time it does still kind of smell like a mimosa so i'm gonna give it a pour into the glass just see if that makes any difference see if it smells any stronger ones in here yeah it's a little bit and this is this is really comparatively now this isn't a, a knock on it this is just comparatively to the others it is a little bit weaker in the smell department but in the taste department does that translate or not let's see for the final time, ching ching, brotherhood. Wow. So this is the inverse of the others. This one doesn't smell as strong, but you taste it. That's like drinking orange juice. That is good. That is good. That's very good. My God. I gotta say guys, I think the last couple of videos I've been down on Tiny Rebel with some of their releases, but these, they are back on top form, lads. They have done a great job with these. I'm not sure which of these I prefer, whether it's this one or the Gin Sour. Let me just try a quick taste comparison, one sec. Yeah, I think it's the Gin, just, just, but they are both very good. I mean, I say they're both very good. They're all very good. They really are all four of these. They're just great. They've done a great job. Seriously, great job, Tiny Rebel. Well done, guys. Very well done. Smell good. Taste good. All four. As I said, my personal preference, I think the Gin Sour is the best, but obviously I think that'll depend on your own personal preference. You're more of a Pina Colada fan or a White Russian fan. The other two might be for you because they do a very good job of fucking replicating those drinks. So there we have it, guys. As far as my recommendation on these, I would say very much a yes. You should definitely go and try these. They are very good at what they're doing. And yeah, if you can still get them, get them. In fact, I probably might go as far as to say that if you can only get the birthday pack, these might be worth it if you'll drink. That's, that's a bit far. <laughs> that's a little bit far. But if you'll drink the rest, bear in mind that there's, there's a few beers in there that are just, you know, beers, standard IPAs, any IPAs, that kind of stuff. As long as you'll drink all of them and you're not too, as long as you're okay with your IPAs, I would recommend you try these if you can, because they are a fucking good job. Very good job. Well done, Tiny Rebel. Excellent job on these. So there we have it, folks. That is that. Very good job on those cocktail beers. I wish I had the cocktails here to comparison like, side by side, but unfortunately my bar is not stocked to be able to create all these cocktails. So. That might be another future video. We'll wait and see. But that is that. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you have liked the video, if you could give us a like down below, that would be very much appreciated as always. Leave us a comment if you've tried these and let us know what you think. Let us know because we want to know what all of you think out there in the Brotherhood. Let us know what you think about these drinks. 
And if you liked it and you've left a comment and all the rest of that jazz, then if you could subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, that would be very much appreciated. And when you subscribe, there's an important action you need to do, and that is to hit that bell, baby, so that you get the notifications for when we release new videos. And there we have it. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.